What's up guys and welcome to my channel. I've been long looking at the mouse pads from X-Ray Pad and people have been asking me to review the X-Ray Pad Aqua Control Plus specifically. And today I'm gonna check out the black and the ROB versions. Big thank you for X-Ray Pad for sending these out for review. So the standard Aqua Control Plus comes in black and white. There is a lot of different size options available and you can pretty much find whatever you want from here. I got the 50cm x 50cm version from both of the pads and it's actually quite massive. For me this size might be a little bit overkill though. The price of the mouse pad of course depends on the size. They seem to have a sale at their website at the moment so the 50 x 50 version is actually $25. And the more standard size the 45cm x 40cm is actually $17. So regarding the price these pads seem really competitive. The ROB comes from red, orange, blue and it does come with this artwork. To my understanding the mousepad is dyed and then it goes through a high temperature press. That processing step is what makes the surface feel smoother. I contacted X-Ray Pad to find this out and I was quite surprised that this pad is not coated. Usually when you see artwork in a mousepad it's always coated but in this case it's done with this processing step. The stitching on these mousepads is high quality, it's somewhat raised but it doesn't feel uncomfortable to me at all. No irritation at all when I'm moving my wrist horizontally or vertically. The same thing applies to the surface itself. The black version is somewhat abrasive though so if you have really sensitive skin you might have some irritation. The base of the pad is high quality. The mouse pad just does not move on your table and it lays flat right out of the box. I can move it if I really want to but in game it really does not move at all. The base is not artisan quality but it's still really really good. The thickness for both of these pads is 3mm. X-ray pads website states that the hardness is soft but I wouldn't really call this soft. Comparing to the x GP4, the Artisan Zero and the Glorious Cloth Pad, this mouse pad is not soft at all. It does give in a little bit but way less than the three other pads I mentioned before. Looking at the surface properties, both of these pads are quite fast. They still have control but I would not call these control pads. The black version feels really nice because of the roughness and it has a little bit more stopping power because of that. The ROB version then again feels more smooth but not necessarily faster. I used the standard black version for quite a while and I did recognize a break-in period. After about a week the mousepad did feel a little bit more smoother and I think the feeling is overall better now. With the ROB then again the mouse is a little bit harder to stop in my opinion. And it's only because of the coloring process the mousepad has went through and that has made it smoother. Don't get me wrong though that's what X-ray pad did intend and some people do like these smooth surfaces more. So I would not divide these two pads with speed and control myself but I would call it smooth and rough. Because of the roughness in the black standard version, the mousepad is quite dependent on mouse feet. For example, the glide is really good with my super light because it has quite decent feet. But the feeling is horrible with my G203 that has pretty bad stock feet. The experience is altogether way too rough on the standard black version with that mouse. The ROB version then again is not that dependent on mouse feet and the experience is very good with both of these mice. Of course, most feet will be completely fine on the standard black version as well. Looking at static friction, the standard black version has a little bit more of it. But the amount of static friction on the black one is still quite low though. Micro adjusting and tracking feel really good with both of these mouse pads. I tried both of these pads with my Zowie EC2B that's glossy and my hand sweats quite a lot with that mouse. And I did notice that the glide on the black version is not affected at all. But in my case the ROB version does get slightly slower if my hands sweat quite a bit. And for me to notice it my hands do need to sweat quite a bit. It only seems to happen on the EC2B glossy edition for me. I've used these pads for about 2-3 to three weeks and after the break-in period these pads feel really consistent. I talked to the hardware unplugged guys because I knew that they loved the ROB version and they had used it for about 3-5 to five months. The brothers did tell me that the glide got only slightly version that time. So by the surface properties the standard version should have great durability and even the ROB version does seem to have great durability. Big thank you for the brothers at Hardware Unplugged for helping me out. I highly recommend to check their content out, the link is in the description. My in-game performance was very good with both of these pads but it was just more fun to play with the standard version. I've been hyping up these rough surfaces for quite a while now so if you have not tested it out definitely get one. The best two rough surfaces that I have tried are the Aqua Control Plus and the Odin Infinity Hybrid. Either one of these pads is really good, I haven't made my mind up which is the better one. So let's quickly conclude these two pads. The standard version comes in white and black, it has quite a rough surface, it provides good amount of stopping power, it has quite a bit of dynamic friction and some static friction. The amount of static friction is still quite low though, it's very easy still to micro adjust. The ROB version then again comes in red, orange and blue and then a grey version. The feeling is close to the standard edition but it's just more smooth. In my opinion there is a tiny bit less friction on this pad. If you like mouse pads that provide a good smooth experience like the GSR SE, 
the QC Key or the Glorious Cloth Pad, I think the ROV version is the one you might want to get. Then again, if you do want something quite a bit different from that, I recommend you get the standard version. Again, these are both uncoded, but if you have sweaty hands, I recommend you get the standard version. There is just no consistency issues at all, even if your hands sweat quite a lot. The issues on the ROV version were minimal, but they still existed. That's pretty much it for the video. If you happen to be looking for a mouse pad that provides good speed and good control, this might be a good bet for you, especially when you consider the price. I received these 50x50 versions for review, and I bought the 45x40 version myself, and the end cost for me was about $30, which was about 25 euros, and that's really cheap for a pad this high quality. So the value for money is definitely the top tier with this mouse pad. Again, I will say this, but if you have not tried one of these rough surfaces, you really need to try one. This will prove to be really good for you guys who use, for example, a Zawi GSR SE, and would like a maybe a slightly bit faster pad. But I will have to stop bothering you now. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. And see you in the next one.